Yeah, though I walk through the valley at the shadow of death. Hello, once more, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fidel. Listen, this is on Fire for Christ, where we talk about the things that are happening in our Ghanaian Christian circles in Africa and the world beyond. Please, if you are here today for your first time, kindly go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I draw Christian videos all the time. My intention is to build you up that you grow in the things of God, that you not be tossed to and fro by any kind of doctrine you hear. I hope that this video certainly goes on to bless you. If you're a youth, then this is a video you like to watch because in this video you see Apostle Aromi Osai talking about the youth and the things that they should learn at this time. And then from there, I'll be giving you four ways that you can grow strong in your walk with Christ. Four ways that you can wax strong in the things of God and in the call of God for your life. And so let's go into the video. Before we start, I say that in this video, you see that Apostle Aromi Osai is chiding the youth or encouraging the youth or warning the youth. And if I say the youth in this video, you see him talking to a bunch of Christian youth and he's teaching them on not being lazy in the kingdom of God. I believe that, I mean, they, they, this kind of warning is very necessary in a generation we find ourselves today. Mainly because we are in a generation where many people are just playing church. We go to church on Sunday, we join some groups in the church, we do some responsibilities in the church, and we think that that is all Christianity is about. And so this is one of the reasons why the church looks very weak today because we have a shallow understanding when it comes to what the church is really about. And when you see the youth being so shallow in the things of God, it certainly is a problem for the future of the church. And so the church actually looks weak today, not because of our buildings. It doesn't look weak because of the crowds we are able to draw or not because of the kind of programs that we are able to do. But the church is actually weak today because of the youth many of these youth claim to go to church many of these youth claim to be christians but these same youth are engaged in all kinds of sin on a daily basis they are so much engrossed in sin such that you can't even seem to see the difference between a christian and an unbeliever you look into the lives of our youth today and there are no fruits to show for the faith they claim to have received and so Bible tells us in the book of James that faith without works is dead. That it has to be a corresponding work to the faith that you have received. And if indeed there's no fruit showing, then it means that that faith you claim to have is a dead faith. And so Bible tells us in the book of Proverbs 22 verse 6, and it says that train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Telling you that it is vital that if you want your child to go in a certain way, then the child has to be trained. And this is the reason why I believe that our youth have to really be trained in the proper way concerning the things of God, concerning the work with God, so that when they grow, they don't move away from these things. Because many of the people start very well, but with time, fall on the way. The Bible also tells us in the book of Ephesians 6 verse 4, and it says that, And ye fathers, and ye leaders, and ye those in authority, Provoke not your children to wrath. Don't lead your children into anger. That they will leave the things of God. That you lead them into one sin or the other. He says, about, but bring them up in the nature and admonition of the Lord. In other words, train them in the fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of wisdom. Because when your child grows in the fear of the Lord, when he grows, he will not be able to depart from the truth of the word of God. And so 2 Timothy 3.15 also tells us that, and that from a child you have known the holy scriptures and this is paul talking about timothy and telling him that your mother and your auntie or your grandma have all trained you in the scriptures that from a child you have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise unto salvation through faith which is in jesus christ and so you get to see that the scriptures are not just there to just teach us something, but they are also there to make us wise unto the things that saves us from the wrath of God and leads us into salvation with Jesus Christ. And this is vital for our time. And so go ahead, you watch Apostle Aromeo Sai as he does this thing, and then we'll come back and then we'll speak about four ways that you can grow strong in the things of the Lord, that you will not be tossed to and fro, that ideas of this world will not throw you away and lead you into destruction. Watch the video and let's come back. What is your assignment? Those are the things that in your spare time you need to labor. When Unilag is on break or there is a strike, you, you, you rejoice and then go into fasting. You need to see the Bible says it is good for a man that he bear his yoke while he's young. If you don't, if you don't learn how to somersault 
at the age of 23. At 70, if you try it, you'll be on a stretcher. There are things that you can only do now. And I'm, I'm telling you this with a body. You can only do now. If you know how much dye I put in my hair to make it black, it's all white. You know, I'm not as young as I look. Okay, so I'm just informing you. I had to put the original dye. <laughs> a time will come, this is your black hair that you are, eh? The thing will become, if you pray on it, it will become even more white. Yeah, though I walk through the valley at the shadow of death. And so let's just dive straight and I'll talk about four ways to work strong in the Lord. And the first thing I'll talk about is that as a youth, one way that you can grow strong in the Lord is to desire the word of God continually. And you ask me, yeah, Pastor Fee, how do you desire the word of God continually? Bible makes us understand that when we come to Christ, there's a new thing that is deposited in our lives. There's a seed of God that is left in us, the Holy Spirit. And this one leads us to desire God continuously. And so Bible makes us understand in the book of 1 Peter 2.2, 2, and it says that like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk. In other translations, it says that desire the sincere milk of the word of God. It continues to read and it says that that by it you may grow up into salvation. Indeed, if you have tasted that the Lord is good. And so this is telling you that indeed, if you say that you have been saved, then desire the sincere milk of the word of God. Indeed, if you say that you are now a Christian, then there has to be a certain desire that you always want to have more of God in your lives. And so this is how you do that. You have to desire that something has been deposited in you and that thing always craves for the things of God. Number two, if you want to work strong in the Lord, the second thing that you have to do is to daily or continually feed on the word of God feed on the word of god and if you have to understand that desiring the word of god or desiring for anything is different from actually doing the thing you can actually desire to want to eat food but until you eat the food you have not eaten the food and so desiring and doing the thing are two different things and so bible makes us understand in the book of hebrews 5 11 to 14 and it says that about this we have much to say and it is hard to explain since you have become dull of hearing that by now we have to be able to explain certain things for you. But you have become dull of hearing. It says that for though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the basic principles of the oracles of God. That if you have been feeding on the word of God, like by now you have been matured in the things of God. You would have also grown up to a place where you can also teach other people. You can also lead other people. But because you have failed to feed on the word of God for a very long time, you are just like a baby. You are just like a newborn who can't be able to do things on their own. It says that you need milk and not solid food. You see, it says that you need milk because you are still a child. You are still a baby. You don't need solid food. For everyone who lives on milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness. That if you continue to be a child in the things of God, then you are unskilled in the word of God since he is a child. It says that but solid food is for the mature those who have grown, they are the ones who can understand the word of God. It says that for those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish between good and evil. So the constancy or the continuous reading of the scriptures causes our minds to be open that we can discern through the word of God and see the things that are good and evil in the sight of God. Then by this we are not able to be led into evil by the enemy. And so the third thing that you have to do to work strong in the things of God. And the third thing that you have to do is to declare the word of God and its power unto other people. You see, when you have desired the word of God, it doesn't stay there. It leads you to feeding on the word of God. And you are, when you have also fed on the word of God and you have become fat in the things of God, it is difficult for you to keep this thing to yourself. You do, and so the only thing that you realize that keeps on coming is you declaring the word of God to people, trying to teach other people, trying to grow other people in the word of God. And so Bible tells us in the book of 2 Timothy 4 verse 2, and it says that Timothy preached the word. Timothy, because now you have desired and you are fed and now you have come to a certain understanding of what God's word is for your life. It says that preach the word, be ready in season and out of season to reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. You see, you can only reprove people, you can only rebuke people, and you can only teach and warn people when you yourself have come to a certain understanding. 
And this is what, if you are a youth watching this, this should, is what should interest you. It should interest you to want to grow in a certain way that in the midst of your colleagues and your friends, you are also ready to teach and give people a certain understanding of what the scriptures is all about because you don't always have to be running to your teachers every day you are also being built up so that you will be able to grow and understand the call of god upon your life the fourth thing and this is the last but not the least that i want you to understand that if you can continue growing in these things then you'll be waxing strong in the lord daily and the fourth thing is to defend the word of god is to be an apologetic for the word of God, for God that you have been called to speak the word of God, that even after you have desired, even after you have fed yourself on the word of God, even as, after declaring the word of God, Bible says that in 1 Peter 3 verse 15, it says that but in your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense. In other words, be ready to give a reason, be ready to give an answer to anyone who asks you for a reason, for the hope that is in you, yet do it with gentleness and with respect, thereby telling us that even as we have come to Christ, because of the level of understanding that we have come to gain, we should be ready to give an answer and be ready to give a defense and a reason to people who ask us why we believe so much, why we are preaching about this gospel, why we are always feeding ourselves and desiring the more of the word of God. Bible is telling us that we should be ready to give an answer. In other words, give a defense of why we believe the things that we have believed. And I believe that if we have paid attention carefully to the four steps i've given you you would have understood that by now all the steps are lying strictly or firmly on the word of god if you want to work strong in the lord there's nowhere else there's nothing else that you can do but growing yourself in the word of god and so if you are youth and you are watching this i hope that it blesses your life it encourages you that you keep on holding on to the truth of god's word and not on the ideas and the philosophies of men i'll see you on the next one take care of yourself and bye bye and so if you like content like this come on go and subscribe to my channel i drop christian videos all the time my intention is to build you up that you'll be on fire for christ i'll see you on the next video take care of yourself and bye bye